Representative Wall, thank you for joining us here tonight. I need your assessment. How did the debate go this evening? Well, I think it went well, and I appreciate you being here. appreciate you, a broader audience be able to see this. Um, there's a clear difference between Mr. Demmer and myself. I think uh, this idea of where America could go instead of uh, looking backward, uh, putting solutions forward, uh, uh, of talking about those core issues, but doing it in a way that uh, these these should not have to be that difficult, and they should not divide us the way they are. It, uh, it's a great opportunity, I think, for folks to sit here and see, and they, I mean, this is what it's all about. This is going to be replicated 434 times across America, and that's the direction we're going to go. So uh, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to stand in front of my uh, my peers and, and, and let them pass judgment. One of the issues here tonight that got a lot of heat, or at least a lot of reaction, was when you it was talked about uh, what you you said that uh, Randy Demmer wants to privatize or partially privatize Social Security. He said that he's never said that. Can you give us, can you tell us where that comes from? Sure, we'll provide you all the detail. He, he said it at a debate when he was uh, trying to move as far right as he could, making sure uh, that he got the nomination from Al Quist and some others, and it came up in a debate. It's on film, and, and you and I both know on this, if the ad was false, it would be pulled. Um, it's as simple as that. That's the way they work, and, and the ad is not pulled because it's accurate, but Representative Demmer stepping away from this because this idea of private privatization or partial privatization, as he says it is, is a no-winner. It, it's bad policy. It's bad politics. And um, he said it. It's been in the Post Bulletin. The Post Bulletin, uh, Heather Carlson over there did an article. It took three articles to clarify this over there. Of one way, back the other way, went the other way, and it was finally there. So I, I stand perfectly by my ad. I, I, I stand that it, it, it's factual. And as I said, you heard Representative Demmer. I, I had two positive ads running before that, but if, if, you, if I'm going to uh, see that type of destructive uh, piece of policy, I'm going to address it. It seemed tonight that you, I found you uh, uh, agreeing with Steve Wilson on several, uh, several of the issues here tonight. Uh, or were you surprised at that? Uh, no, I've known Steve for a while, and he's a thoughtful guy. He's got good ideas that he uh, he articulates well, I believe. Uh, he's, I, I think, a little more, obviously, he's conservative on, on a lot of these issues, uh, but he's a very decent man. I think he brings a lot to this race. I'm glad he's here. We, uh, we've we advocated the whole time that he needs to be included in all of these things. So uh, on as far as the debt goes, he's looking at the same stuff I'm looking at, the same stuff I've worked at. He's very realistic. Social Security is very realistic. Uh, I, I think on, on the debt situation, though, the long range, the deficit and the debt and the stimulus, and some of that. That's where we probably differ, but that's more of a conservative uh, economic philosophy as opposed to one that I think solves this problem. But uh, good man, um, working hard, and he's got the, the nation's interest at heart. It's pretty obvious to see that, I think. Uh, the Republicans have a lot of money they're dumping into this district. Are you bracing yourself for even more attack ads between now and uh, Election Day? Oh, sure. This is uh, my support. I, I don't have that national. I have more contributions from uh, in-state Minnesota than any other member of the delegation. I've got a lot of support here. I, I, I think it's reflected in uh, the policies and the way that I listen and try and build coalitions. Uh, they're going to do this. I mean, it's what they're doing. They're fishing. And you heard it today. That was very clear, this, this talking points and getting all the talking points in. Um, I Maybe my staff would think this is a weakness. I think it's a strength. Uh, I speak uh, where things are at, and maybe it's coming people like on, on energy. Really? Gas went up 12 cents. I mean, open your eyes and don't stick to the talking points. We've got a problem here. So they'll keep dumping money, um, but I'll keep uh, challenging them on the issues. I think the, the whole cap-and-trade issue, He the, the talking point he was saying about $150 a month per family, that's really been disproven. Yeah. Uh, you know, in fact, I think Michelle Bachman tried to get that over, and I know uh, Politico and several other groups looked like look that and said, you know, liar, liar, pants on fire yeah, with know. numbers like that. Well, so one of the things is, and I say this, I think it comes from, I, I think it's an upbringing thing. I think it's coming out of teaching and those types of things. Um, I very strongly stand by the factual nature of my ads because it becomes a very personal thing for me. I don't want you calling me on something that's untrue. Um, if you do, I want to be very clear. I will change it. But I think getting these facts correct, and, and when you quote one study and say this, well, that's not true, and it's funded by Exxon, those types of things. So we need to be clear that you're setting up a false dichotomy that this bill that never made it further than the House, all of a sudden everything's changed as if the world is just peachy today on, on our dependence on foreign oil. So. Well, I know you, you've spent a lot of time talking with the constituents. You've got a lot here to do on the campaign trail, but I appreciate yeah. you spending some time with us this evening. Well, thanks for being here. It's always uh, appreciated to get it more out. You do good work for us, so I appreciate that. Okay, well, we do good work for everybody. That's well, what we're trying to do. constituents, yeah, we appreciate it. So okay. thank you. All right, thank you.